Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm just showing you this um, glitter ombre set that I did, or glitter fade, whatever you want to call it, on my client Mish. And so she's coming for a fresh set today. So I'm just using my cuticle pusher to put, push back those cuticles and that skin. Um, it looks like I'm being really rough, but I'm not. I'll just sped it up a little bit because I do like to take my time when I'm doing prep. So it does take me a while. Because I just like to be extra thorough, so that, you know, mi minimal lifting and all that. Or to minimise lifting, I should say. Um, I mean, most of my clients go three, four weeks before they come back to me with no lifting and things like that. So I think my prep's quite good yeah and I think I'm showing you both hands as well today so the only thing I didn't show I think was tip application just because I forgot to press record <laughs> so I'm just coming in now with my nippers and I'm just nipping away that excess skin. So, as you can see, like, I'm not nipping any living tissue. It's just anything non-living and excess. I'm just nipping away. Can you believe I've actually filmed a client today as well? Normally film on my flexi hand, but I thought I'll switch it up a little bit and start asking my clients and see see how I'm getting on. Some clients aren't comfortable with it, but some are, so like I just try and record what I can, like whoever I feel comfortable enough to ask. <laughs> So again, just pushing back those cuticles. The cuticle pusher and nippers that I'm using are from Glitter Planet UK. Um, the outer space ones. I'll try and grab the link and pop it in the description box anyway. So now I'm just coming in with a little ball bit on my e-file and it just helps to push back that skin a little bit more because she is a nail biter and like her skin's really soft so I don't want to cut too far down you know with the nippers so I just use this e-file bit and it just helps me to push it back that a little bit more and exfoliate the nail plate so there's no non-living tissue on there to cause any lifting. So anything I have links for or discount codes for will be written in the description box below. So um yeah everything that I've used other than this e-file bit today I think will be linked in the description box and I'm just taking my hand file and I'm just etching that nail plate so I'm not doing it so much so that I'm taking layers and layers off the nail I'm literally just removing that shine off the natural nail and if there's any little corners just take them off So 
because we don't want to be damaging anybody's nails or filing into the nail. God, it looks like I'm being so rough, but I'm really not. It's because I've sped it up. It's so mad watching yourself back. <laughs> it's only then that you realise though how much you actually faff around. <laughs> so I'm just removing any dust there with my little NSI plush brush, I think it's called. Sorry, I've done it again. I've not put my phone on silent. I'm a nightmare for this. <laughs> so as you can see here, I haven't cut my client at all doing any of the prep work. However, when I was doing my finished filing, I did nick one of the cuticles. And I was using a really blunt file as well, so I don't know how I did it, but... Oh, my hands up. It was me. I'm sorry. <laughs> So I've applied all my tips and now I'm going to come in with design. So I'm using Perfect Peach from CJP for the nail bed colour. Um, it is a strength powder but because I'm doing a glitter fade I'm going to need to cap anyway. So I thought I might as well just cap the whole nail. So I'm not really building the nail with this, I'm just building up the colour. I'm using my CJP Liz Guild brush as well, I think. Yeah. Excuse the stain of my nails, I know they still need doing. Shoot me. <laughs> I just can't decide what to do on them. I just don't know what to do for myself. I do all these pretty designs for all my clients and I just never know what to do on my own. If anyone's got any suggestions, pop them in, in the comments below. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to go in with Perfect Speech on all ten nails and then I'll come in with the glitters and the glitters I'm using are as usual from Sparkle Supplies UK and um, they are raw glitters in a pot so I just literally dip my brush into my acrylic and then dip it straight into the powder and then onto the nail so that's just how I find easiest and I think if I leave them as raw glitters rather than mixing them with acrylic then I can still use them if I need them in a gel polish design or anything like that as well. I used to mix my glitters with acrylic all the time, you know, if I was using it to apply within the acrylic. I used to just mix it with some clear acrylic, but I found I was wasting so much. I had so many pots of different glitters, you know, because it was like a custom mix for any every client, you know. And I was just wasting so much, it was just sat there for ages, so I decided to stop doing that. It just felt like I was wasting everything. Sorry if I'm rambling, guys. I just don't know what to talk about, what to say. Um, But yeah. And because I don't have any music in my videos as well, I'm not sure where to download from because... Last time I put music in my videos, I got done for copyright, like, got to hold off off YouTube, so I don't want that to happen again. So I'm not sure if I can put music in my videos now. If anyone knows anything, let me know.
so yeah it's quite a long video this one because I am showing you both hands so yeah I did speed it up a little bit to try and shorten it otherwise you'd be here all night but feel free to skip through <laughs> and see the actual glitters because we all know how excited we get about glitters I do anyway. <laughs> God, I'm faffing so much with this nail. What is going on? <laughs> this client as well, she has the tiniest nail beds ever. She's got hands of like a 10 year old. <laughs> She's gonna kill me for saying that if she sees this, but <laughs> it's true. Has anyone got any plans for Easter? I think we're going to uh, my mother-in-law's for dinner. That'd be nice. Have a dinner cooked for us for once. <laughs> And it saves on the pots. Bonus. I'm just opening all those pots of glitter. So this these glitters are from the Sorbe collection. It's a new collection from Sparkle Supplies, so I was excited to try these. So the first one I'm coming in with on the pinky is Lemon Sorbe. So I'm just placing it at the tip and then turn my brush around and fade it back. And then this one is orange sorbet. So they're like a really fine glitter with some small but chunkier pieces of holographic glitter, if that makes sense. You'll see them anyway in the um, pictures better, but they're really, really pretty. So I'm just patting and moving that glitter where I want it to make it look like it's a a fade and I think this one is pink sorbet although it should have been called strawberry sorbet <laughs> and this one is grape sorbet So 
so I do have a discount code for Sparkle Supplies UK as well which I'll leave in the description box and I know that they do ship worldwide so if anybody would like to purchase anything I'll leave that information in the description box as usual and I don't get any money for anybody using my discount code either or the transparency thing and everything Um, I don't get any commission or anything so this one is blueberry sorbet on the thumbs and then I'm just gonna go in and do the same on the other hand and then I will cap all 10 nails so I'm just gonna let you watch
Okay, so now all of those nails have been capped in crystal glass. I'm going to file, shape and buff off camera and then I'm going to come in with my CJB tap free top gloss and top coat all the nails. And there is a little video at the end for you to see the finished result. I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I hope you enjoyed me working on a client for once. Let me know what you guys think, if there's anything I need to improve on or if you've got any suggestions for me. Just pop them in the comments below, I'm always happy to uh, improve and take constructive criticism. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for joining, guys. Bye.